So as I start filming this video, the one of the boys in the office, Cairo, he just came upstairs and he came up with a um, a box, right, like a delivery. This is genuinely, I didn't know how to speak about this video and so I've decided just to sit down and, and do it unscripted completely. But Cairo just walked up with a delivery of um, a, a big box and um, it is this box, I'll show you guys actually. This big box, I promise you can't write this stuff. Like, and that box basically in in the office over the past like like couple months we've changed our we've stopped using the kind of water tank system that we had and um so we've had a so we, this is our new water tank system that's been delivered um and so it's a system that like plugs into our walls and it takes the water from our piping and it purifies it and then it like gives us pure water every time like boiling water cold water and we changed to that because the other the other the other way of us getting the other tank was working out too expensive and we're constantly getting new bottles in and um and so if we, if we thought we'd do it like this and for the past couple of months we had to like bring in bottles of water and stuff like that and it's just been a headache like sometimes there's not been any water and so one of the boys in the office has to go out to the shops and grab some bottles and it's just been a headache because we just don't have just like access to the water like we did before while we we're waiting for this exact tank to be delivered the reason it's all so kind of like it all comes full circle is because this video the reason i'm so passionate about this video more so than anything else is because of the water so in yemen there's a huge epidemic and it has been for years with regards to getting access to clean water right and because people don't have the, the, the i could sit here and like give like loads of facts but i don't at a cost of like potentially like switching off on these videos I'm, I'm just going to give like the straight facts and the facts are that because of a lack of, of clean water people are dying because of diarrhea and cholera and we were speaking about this once when I was doing an appeal and it's mad that people can die of diarrhea like we were just talking amongst ourselves in the office as brothers and we were saying like when we if if like any of us were ever to get ill you don't ever think like oh I'm going to like it's, it's I'm going to die from it right generally like if for example you have a stomach bug like you've gone out and you've had a munch the night before at a takeaway and your mash up right the next day like you don't think oh I'm going to die because of it and in Yemen when you get when children are getting diarrhea they're dying because of it and diarrhea is one of the issues that they get because of not having clean water and the other one is cholera and co people also die from cholera that sucks because it's just clean water that's needed and so actually this appeal right now or like this video is actually about um, a winter pack that we're planning to provide uh, in Yemen, right, with the help of a human appeal. But before I go into like how you can help, and, and, and first of all, what this video is not, is we're not actually asking specifically for money. Um, we're actually asking you guys to jump on board with us, like on this mission. Um, so we're not specifically asking you to donate. So, so, so kind of wait till the end of this video and, and then I'll explain how you guys can help in eventually getting those donations. But one of the stories I wanted to tell you guys before explaining that is a story of a guy called Nasir. And uh, I'll, I'll throw up kind of the visuals on the screen, but Nasir basically has, um, he had two children, uh, two young babies who had cholera because they didn't have access to clean water. And because they had cholera, they, he had to take them into this, like Ill, what looks like a makeshift hospital um, to get treated. And Alhamdulillah, they got treated and then they went back home. And as he took them back home, the third one ended up getting it. And so it was his daughter and she was, I believe, nine months old. And now when I'm looking at it as a dad, I look at it so differently, right? His daughter got cholera and she, and she ended up passing away. And it's so sad because you think that this right here, like we, like we, we were getting like annoyed because we didn't have the tank available to us, but we still had clean water available to us. Even if we drank like the water from the, from the bathrooms, taps, it would still be probably fine for us. So now that winter is coming and winter is here um, and we're all kind of feeling the cold of the winter, we, we wanted to um, launch this campaign to provide a family in winter with uh, blankets, oh, yeah, blank blankets, warm winter clothes, and, and mattresses, and, and and that kind of stuff. Um, so that's like the winter pack, right? But um, also, I rang my connect at Human Appeal Ibrahim, and I spoke to him, and I said we have to have water in this because as much as it's needed for them to have warmth and stuff, um, I I suppose resonate a lot with a water issue just because when you put it into context of like the fact that children are dying of diarrhea, it it, it seems like something that we really need to be able to help support. So if we're gonna be going and being able to provide aid in Yemen, then I would like water to be involved in that. And so 
Um, he went back and originally it was, it was 220 pounds to support an entire family uh, with, with winter clothes and mattresses and, and, and all sorts. And, uh, but now we've added food and water. And so that's gone up to, I think, 320 pounds, um, which to me, and I know you guys will resonate with me here, it's 315 pounds, it's, 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 it's not an issue. Like the fact that water uh, is added in this and food, um, if it's 315, it's 315. And so here's, the, here's now what you guys can do and here, here's how we can all help. So we've created a team page. If you go to freshlygrounded.com forward slash team uh, forward slash freshly grounded winter appeal or you click on the link in the bio uh, or in the description, I always get told off for saying bio when it's description. If you click on the link in the description, what you can do is you can actually um, click join team. And when you click join team, you, what happens is you end up creating your own page on Just Giving within, as like a, as like a sub page of, our, of the Freshly Grounded overall team page. And so um, our goal is like some huge goal of like 25,000 pounds or something. But the way it's broken down is every time, uh, let's say for example, you create a page as a team member. So you click join team and you create your own page and then raise 315 pounds, which is to support one family in uh, Yemen with food, water and a winter kit. What will happen is as you, as everybody joins the team, like all of our monies together as a group effort will go to this overall freshly grounded team page and then hopefully we can raise what our overall target is or maybe even more. So, so that's, that's where we're at. And um, what I'm asking you guys to do is not to necessarily donate, but to set up a team page. Set up a team page for one family, which is 315 pounds. And if you want to do two families, you can do two families, but one family is what we're aiming for here at least. And then just blast it on your WhatsApp groups, blast it to your family. And even if everybody can give 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, uh, eventually we can get 315 pounds, which is an entire family who can be provided with those uh, items um, this winter. And that would mean a lot to us at Freshly Grounded. So if you can do so, it would be amazing. Um, please do go ahead. It will probably take you around five minutes to set up the page and another five minutes to broadcast it to all of your contacts. And then you can just leave it. And inshallah, um, not only are you able to provide for a family in Yemen, uh, inshallah, you also will get the reward for that in the Akhirah. So yeah, that is my message. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you very shortly because we've got a bunch of content coming out uh, over the next couple of days. I will see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.